I can't tell you how excited I am right now because Native Instruments just gave me early access to their newest sample library called Piano Colors, and I'm gonna be showing you how it works in this video. I'm actually gonna be making a track using nothing but this instrument. So far, I've only spent about 15 minutes with the plugin, and it is, it's incredible. Like, utterly, insanely good. I've been a huge fan of like Unicorda and Noir by Native Instruments. This thing is, <laughs> You know what, let's just pull it up and how about I show you. Okay, so this is what it looks like and I just gotta tell you right out of the gate, this is what it sounds like, just the very first preset that pops up. Which, <laughs> it's so good. Okay, so in short, this is how it works. Like I said, I've, I've barely used this, so in a way we're going to kind of learn how to use this thing together, but it's actually pretty simple. So you've got these four different layers. And so this one's disabled. Once I turn it on, you can see these lights in the background color correspond to the actual layers themselves. You've got noises, you've got the actual layer of what the what's happening inside the piano. You've got another version of that and you have what's called particles. And if you just click on the actual particles itself right here, it's gonna give you all sorts of different things you can do, but you can also click down here. And this is taking, to you, uh, taking you to all of where the presets are of all the different things. So this is the alle aleatoric sequence, but then we can go into each and every layer and you can basically find all of these individual presets and look at this. I mean, there is just so much stuff packed in here. Uh, you can obviously search based on different uh, tags and whatnot to make it simple, it looks like. And then you can change the volume of the actual uh, layers themselves too. And one of the cool things too is that you can actually use your mod wheel. In the mod wheel, you can look at the colors in the background. That's what it's controlling and you can change what the mod wheel is actually gonna control. I mean, even just that sound right there, this is like completely what it sounds like just when you open up that very first preset. And then you can go up here to the top left and you can actually find all the actual presets that you can then jump through, which you can see there are a lot of presets. Okay, so with that said, how about I actually just make a track here using this and we're gonna go ahead and start kind of figuring out what we wanna do. So I wanna start with um, something a little more mallet on pads, what's that? Okay, let's start with this. All right, so the ending there got a little rough, but we'll, we'll, we'll call it. Let's go ahead and find another preset we like. I'm just gonna basically just use presets. That's pretty cool, body and string. Okay, let's see if we can use this arpeggiator. Let's go ahead and... Okay, let's see. Okay, so they have some defaults. Okay, here we go. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's just stick with that here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, that's sweet. I mean, I literally just played one note the entire time. That's really cool. Let's see what else we can come up with here. Let's figure out some, uh, almost like, let's see if we can find some stuff that's, okay, we got bowed. What do we got here? That's cool. Okay, that's, that's sweet. Okay, I'm just gonna draw that out, this whole thing. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna automate that. Let's, let's automate this sucker. Cool. Okay, that's sweet. I like that. I like that. So let's just kind of keep building this out here. Add replica, I love replica. Almost gonna function as a delay on here. I always use this diffusion mode. There we go. There we go. <laughs> And I want to go somewhere different here just to like, let's just make like a quick like one minute track kind of a thing. I wonder if they have any like, okay, yeah, yeah, plucked, plucked felt. Let's turn the arpeggiator off. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we're gonna go from this little section here and then we're gonna do something almost like, we're gonna go into a completely different section like, 
Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Let's do it. I love that. That's beautiful. We got to get some more like, I want some more like ethereal stuff. So let's do some ethereal stuff. What about reversed? Landscape. Okay. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so what if we started it? Yeah, just start it with this way. And then wait for it. Here we go. Here's the crazy thing. We are moving so fast already and we already have something really cool coming together. Let's find some like percussive stuff. Oh. Oh. Holy cow. <laughs> Copy that there. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay, so what if we get a little bit more bait? Okay, breathing subs, what is that? Whoa. Are you kidding me? That is the coolest thing. What? Okay. <laughs> Holy cow. Un stinking believable. Okay, you know what? I think we need to keep building this up. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Oh man, that's so cool. Here we go, let's, let's build this up. Oh, that is so sweet. Toilet brush, what is that? That's crazy. Okay, let's see what... Oh dang, that's crazy. Okay, so we need to figure out like just a little outro here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So let's just like use this as an opportunity to again, go somewhere totally different. I'm gonna start over here just so I don't get confused. Two, three, four. Okay, that's kind of cool. Ah. Okay, I love that, but we need to add some RAM on there because why the heck not? Get some diffusion. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so good. Church organ. Fusion grand, what's that? I can dig it. Okay, so what if I did like... Oh, that's good. Oh, and then it could repeat that, oh, that motif. Oh, it could be like a call response. I think we need one more. Oh, I like that. I think we've done it. We've just created a minute and 35 second track in basically half an hour, obviously shortened for the video. Let's take a listen. And keep in mind, there's basically no mixing on this. I, You can even see the faders are basically all left untouched. This is just showing you how amazingly creative and inspiring this is to just literally put together a track like that. Basically no mixing on here. I mean, look at, look at this. Like the only effects I've used are like realm and replica and like effect track like once. That's it. Here we go. Let's listen.
love that. You gotta let me know down in the comments what you thought about that. Did you like this track? I hope so because I think that what we created here in like half an hour was pretty darn good. And hey, if you wanna learn how to produce in a structured environment, you should check out my course, Producer Accelerator. I'll link that down below, up in the corner, wherever you wanna go. You should definitely check out this plugin. I mean, honestly, this is probably one of the most inspiring tools I've seen in a long time, but with that, we'll see you in the next one.